We have had some issues with water. If you stick enough straws into a glass of water, it's going to empty faster. The biggest ever wildfires have raged in Los Angeles' neighbourhood for nearly a week. 24 people have been confirmed dead, 200,000 people have been displaced and around 12,000 structures have been destroyed, along with 35,000 acres of land. Emergency officials have also faced a nightmare situation with fire hydrants running out of water. At some point this week, up to 20% of the city's hydrants went dry, according to LA Mayor Karen Bass. Why the is there no water the in the hydrants, it's Governor? All being, it's, it's all literally... Is it going to be different next time? It has to be. It has right. to be, of course. What are you going to do? <laughs> to fill the hydrants. I would fill them up personally, you know that. I literally... I would fill up the hydrants myself. But would you do that? I would do whatever I can. But you're not! But California sits on a massive water resource, the Pacific Ocean. So why aren't firefighters using seawater to battle the blazes? While the nearby Pacific Ocean offers a massive water source, using seawater to fight fires comes with challenges. Experts note that while seawater and freshwater both effectively cool fires, salt water can harm the environment by salinizing soil, which inhibits plant growth and reduces fertility. Tim Chavez, a retired fire analyst, explains that salt can sterilize the soil, making it unsuitable for crops or vegetation. Metropolitan water systems are not designed to sustain a firefight like this. Hmm. One house like this, you might have three or four or Three five. or four fire engines. We, we, we think we've lost 8,000 structures. So times three fire engines each, that, that requires 26,000 fire engines. I don't think the state of California has 26,000 fire engines. Hmm. Salt water also corrodes firefighting equipment like hoses and tanks, which are typically designed for freshwater. Despite this, LA County firefighters have utilized ocean water, deploying specialized super scoopers. These aircraft, resistant to salt water corrosion, can collect and drop up to 1,600 gallons at a time. However, Aerial firefighting in the region faces another challenge, strong Santa Ana winds. Pilots must execute precision drops while avoiding damage to buildings and vehicles. What happened to the water system? Was it, and by the way, was it just overwhelm that you had so much that was used, we drew it down? Uh, was it pipes? Was it electricity? It was a combination of pipes, electricities, and pumps. Uh, what was that drawdown impossible because you lost seven plus thousand structures right here anyway and every single structure we lost had a pipe that was leaking and we'd have lost uh, that water pressure anyway. As of now, 16 other aircraft, including Firehawks and air tankers, are supporting efforts with fresh water. Once the Palisades fire is controlled, these resources may be redirected to other fires in Southern California. But the entire Pacific Palisades looks like, you know, unfortunately Gaza or one of these war-torn countries uh, where awful things have happened. So, and there are fires now breaking out everywhere. So, 